Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and I have two little projects I wanna show off. They're actually both pretty basic. They're just uh, simple little electronic doohickeys. I actually have uh, very little experience with electronics. I did take one non-credit uh, electronics class at the local technical college, and other than that, I just uh, try to take things apart, tinker, see how they work, ask questions of people I know. So these two projects, right here, I have a disco ball spinning motor. And over here, I have a dimmer. And neither of these seem particularly complicated or, well, frankly, maybe even that interesting, but I'll hope to show you why I think this is a lot of fun and what's really intriguing about these. So to start off with, let's go um, take a look at this disco ball spinning motor. This here is a piece of salvage. This is a part that came out of uh, some sort of a Canon device, uh, either a printer or a photocopier, uh, something along those lines. And what's neat about it is that there's two different motors on here and a gear block. And what I did was, uh, these are DC motors. Uh, this one still has the power lead wires on there. So all I did was test them out by hooking them up to a bench power supply and see what speed they'd spin at. They are marked as 24 volt, but a DC motor, uh, essentially it'll, it'll spin directly proportional to voltage. So for example, if you take a, a 24 volt motor and you run it off just a nine volt battery, it's not going to uh, spin as fast, roughly about a third as fast. So I hooked this up to a nine volt battery. And the other thing we can see here is on this motor, it already has a little bit of a, a gear reducer here and then inside some additional gear reduction, and then a right angle turn takes it down finally to this. So I just hooked it up to a nine volt battery. Let's uh, just connect that. My switch is real simple. It's just uh, putting the little snap over here. And then we can see, I just bent a paper clip to hang on here to hang the ball. We can see that this spins nice and slow, and it came out to be uh, two RPM. Uh, which is just about perfect for a disco ball. So let's take a look at that dimmer now. Now this box here is a dimmer and it uses pulse width modulation, uh, which essentially is a really fancy turning power on and off very quickly and varying the ratio of the on to the off time. Um, in this case, it's 12 volts and I designed it to be able to dim uh, an LED light. So right here, um, what I have is a light that's designed for going under a cabinet. It's just something you can buy at the home improvement store. If I uh, dim the lights a little here, you'll be able to see this a little better. Uh, so this is a, just a light designed to go like under a cabinet. Um, very simple, just off the shelf, nothing fancy here at all. And it's just using a stock 12 volt power supply. However, I designed this dimmer so that its uh, power connector will take the 12 volt power supply here, plug that into the dimmer, and then I made an output cord from there to go to the light. So now we've still got the same LED light, but if I turn the knob on here, I can put it to any brightness I want. So full brightness, just the same brightness as, as it would be plugged straight into that power supply, or I can dim it down to just about whatever. Any light at all to blindingly bright, and I can vary it in between here as well. So what's neat about this is that pulse width modulation applies equally well to dimming LEDs as it does to controlling the speed of a DC motor. So what I can do here is just grab some jumpers, hook this up to this, and then I can have a disco ball that can spin at whatever speed I want it to. Let's do that. Now I've got some uh, test leads hooked up here, but before we spin the disco ball, I wanna show you one other thing. If you come in and look up close at this voltmeter here, so you can see that the power supply puts out about 12 and a half volts, and that's with the, uh, the dimmer all the way up or 100% duty cycle. Now, if I turn it down, the device looking at the output of this dimmer, even though it's, it's still putting out 12 and a half volts, 
is just turning it on and off really fast, I can get sort of any apparent voltage that I want out of here. So if uh, you're an array of LEDs or a DC motor, um, it kind of has the appearance of uh, a lower voltage. So that's going to change the speed of a motor or the brightness of the LEDs while still powering them correctly. So it's, uh, it's very smooth and I can get pretty much anything I want out of there from 12 all the way down to zero. So now let's combine both devices and make a variable speed disco ball. We're going to use this motor here, uh, which goes to this gear, this gear reduction in this right angle to drive this drive shaft, just because that one's a little faster, it's a little easier to show you. So right now I have the uh, PWM turned down all the way, and now I'll just slowly turn it up a little bit. As you can see, there our gear is spinning, but by the time it gets through all the gear reduction, um, and I've got a little dot right on there, just so you can see it moving, that shaft is uh, spinning really, really slow. But if I turn up the knob on my PWM dimmer, you can see it goes faster, and I keep going faster, and here we go. So that's uh, uh, full speed. Um, of course, with the gear reduction on that motor, by the time we get down to this drive shaft, that's the maximum speed that that will go on 12 volts. If this whole thing was set up on 24 volts, it would spin twice that fast. Well, that's it for now, but I hope you get as excited about pulse width modulation as I do. Uh, tune in next time for another video about uh, do-it-yourself electronics and home-built electric cars. If you like these videos, swing on by uh, 300mpg.org to check out more of what I've got.